Hi friends, I'm Abby and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my July TBR. I can't really believe that we are now moving into the second half of 2024 already, like how did that happen? Uh, July is a big month for me. It is my birthday month. I am turning 30. Whew, the big three zero and I'm going to Chicago for a few days with my partner to celebrate and then the rest of the month I've got a few busy weekends uh, but otherwise we'll be at home and hopefully London summer will be here and we can enjoy London in the summer because London in the summer is perfect but it so rarely happens. Uh, I did try to film this video earlier and the world was being very noisy so I'm going to hope now I have waited like five hours at the world and have gone and done like other things because I got so fed up that the world is going to behave and not be so noisy because I was getting very frustrated. There, there was drilling, there was aeroplanes, there was a lorry reversing. I was at my wit's end. So hopefully everyone has just gone on their merry way now and are going to be quiet. So TBR, I don't really know what I want to read. Uh, this month I just I don't really know I thought maybe I could uh, pull I've got some prompts I did these ages ago I've no idea what's in here and so I just thought maybe I could pull a few prompts and see what books fit in uh, I am trying to like read through some of my older books on my TBR and this could be a good way to to do it so yeah that, that's my idea I might just like put some prompts and then anything else that is calling to me after I've pulled like five prompts I will add in as well so Let's add a bit of randomness. I can't remember if these were like books that I put in here or if they were like prompts. I can't remember. Right. I can't, no idea. Let's, let's go for, I think I've got two. Go back here. There we go. What? Five star prediction. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So for my five star prediction, what a nice way to start. What well, quite a nice prompt I like that one. Uh, I'm gonna put in Not in Love by Ali Hazelwood. This is her newest release, it came out in June. I've not quite got to it yet. So this is a romance uh, book. I've read all of Ali Hazelwood's books. I generally find them quite fun and enjoyable and I have given some of them five stars because they're just so compulsively readable. Like you, you start reading and then suddenly you've read 100 pages. Uh, they're generally stem centred romances and you follow two characters. She does have like an archetype, a stereotype that she just always seems to use, use which is Big Musty Man and Tiny Girl which does annoy me a little bit now that I've read it multiple times but I do find them very fun. This one We've got two characters who I think are working together and they're actually trying to hide their romance from the rest of their colleagues, like a workplace one. And if they like, if it gets revealed, then they're going to get pulled up in the workplace or something. I, I think it'll be fun. I think this will be fun. Uh, so I'll put this in as my five star prediction. There's, there's, there's one. Oh, I think we're upside down. Backlist, 10 plus years Oh, Okay. This is actually perfect. This is perfect. I mean, I, I've got a big extensive TBR, so I probably have quite a few that would fit this, but I do get like sucked in by new and exciting books all the time. Um, but I do find it weird now to think that 10 years, backless being 10 years is 2014. I'm like, 2014 can't be that long ago, but it is. 2014 is 10 years ago, which like reminds me, my cousin sent me this thing the other day, which said like S Club 7 was 25 years old. I was like, how, how? because I was an S Club 7 kid growing up. I loved S Club. Anyway, this book is definitely 10 years old, over 10 years old. It is from the 90s, I think. 1982. So this is like 40 years old. Is that right? Is that 1982? In my head, 1982, I'm like, oh, that's 20 years ago. No, that's 40 years ago. Well, 42 years ago. I would like to read Magician by Raymond E. Feist or Feast. So this is one of my self-destructing books that I put onto my like TBR for this year and then actually finding out one of my friends, uh, Sam, messaged me and so um, we've probably read quite a few times uh, with Fish as well and so I think she's going to be joining us as well and we're going to intend to read this in the second half of July. Uh, so actually this works out perfectly. This is an epic fantasy series. It's the first book in a much wider saga. So I think there's different trilogies or different series within this world. Uh, this one we're following a main character called Pug who is uh, finds out that he is a magician or is like learning, apprenticing to be a magician. Uh, there is a war that's come to the Isles. So yeah, I'm definitely intrigued. I feel like this one might not be the best, but I feel like there's a good potential for the series. 
is how, how I sort of feel as though people talk about this series. We'll see. And I did enjoy the first chapter when I read it like two years ago. Like, which one do I go for now? I feel like this rummaging towards the bottom has done quite well. Okay. Audiobook. I have not been doing very many of these. I have not been doing very many of these this year. Okay, in the month of June, I read the first book in the Chestnut Spring series by Elsie Silver. So I think I will just say the second book in that series. I don't know which one it is. The first one was Flawless. I have no idea what the second one in that like romance series is, but I enjoyed listening to that first book. So I think I'll just put the second one in and I don't know what the plot of, plot of it is. I think these are all set in Canada. Of Canada. Uh, all set in Canada. It's got a romance focus to them. We'll go with that one. Right. Okay. Um. Also, I've got my nails done today. So before you wouldn't have seen these, whereas now you do, now that I'm having to film later in the day. Romance. I've already got I have got two romances on here. I don't need another romance. I don't need another one. Okay, as I have already got two like contemporary romances, uh, I think I might go for The Inadequate Air, which is a fantasy romance. So this is the first in the sequel, in the second duology within the Bridge Kingdom series. So I read the Bridge Kingdom and the sequel to that quite a few years ago now. And I have recently picked up uh, the third and fourth book or the second duology. And I believe this is following some side characters and I'm hoping that although my memories are a little bit foggy for the ending or like some of the side characters and where they got to in the British Kingdom that I should just be able to dive into this, hopefully. But yeah, I, ca I can't have another contemporary romance. I've already got two and that is more than I would normally read of contemporary romance. So a bit of fantasy romance and this is good because it's like continuing in that like world of the series and I generally quite like Danielle L. Jensen's books. So I, th I think this is a good one, a good one. Surprise entry. So that's four. So I should, here, I should just be doing one more, but I feel like I'm having fun with this. This one. Oh, that was a book. No, we're not doing books, we're doing prompts. broad okay so for hardback i will pick the atlas six it's one that i've had on my like tbr for a little while that i've been wanting to continue on with this series well reread this first one and then continue on so the, here it is being put on here so that i will be continuing on with the series i did actually like start this reread and i read 20 pages and i was enjoying it and then, then i just changed my mind so yeah this should be quite an easy reread for me and then continue on with the series and finish it off and get it all wrapped up uh, this is a dark academia story where there's like six people entering into this Alexandrian society um, and they're all like in competition with each other and they have magical skills but we know that only five can continue on into the second year. So that is five books that the jar has picked for me. Oh, oh dear, balancing. So this one plus that second book in the Chestnut Spring series. So that feels like a good mixture. That feels like a good mixture of different things, different styles of book. A couple of other ideas that I've had. I am going to an author event on the 17th of July, which is Tasha Suri, Andrew Stewart and Georgie, Georgia Summers. So I have read out of those authors, some of Tasha Suri's work and some of Andrew Stewart's work, Andrew Stewart's works. And I would like to, I've got two books from them that I would like to be able to read ahead of that event. Uh, so I have The Oleander Sword by Tasha Suri. This is the sequel to The Jasmine Throne, which I read a few years ago now. Uh, and this, the third book in that series is coming out later on this year. This is like an Indian fantasy. We've got multi perspectives and this really interesting like magic system where people are turning into trees or getting like trees growing out of them. Uh, and this person that has been locked in this tower uh, and her maidservant is the basic premise. Um, I think I will need to have a quick look at a summary of the first book before I dive into this one. But this will get me up to date the series ahead of that third book's release. And then I did receive an advanced copy from Orbit uh, for Andrew Stewart's new book, which is coming out in September. This is The Gods Below. So as 
as I have this, I feel like this is the perfect opportunity for me to read this ahead of its release and, and then see the author as well uh, and be able to talk to her about it. So I would like to get to this before that 17th of July, like deadline in my mind. So I have really enjoyed her other series. I don't really know much about this one. A sweeping tale of war and gods, loyalty, betrayal, and a world in turmoil. So yeah, definitely interested in getting into this one. So those are my other ideas of things. So here's a, what actually looks like a pretty substantial pile to me, considering what my reading has been like. So that's six books, plus uh, the Chester Spring series. I also have read them before, which I still haven't read. So there's always that one that might come back at some point and be read. Uh, because yeah, I still have not read that one. I still, I will, I will, I promise I will. But not yet, at some point it will happen. Yeah, here is a pile of potentials that I will try to read uh, that The Jar actually picked for me and that, uh, yeah, that appeared because of fate. I actually did quite enjoy that. I did enjoy some of the like, randomness, but also the openness of the props that I got. I think the props I got were actually quite good for me. Uh, let me know your thoughts on any of these books, if you have read any of them, uh, and if you think that I will like them, uh, and let me know what you're planning to read in the month of July. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.